When an artist starts to break out and gain traction, it typically goes one of two ways. They continue with that forward momentum and get signed or just kind of fizzle out. And in the TikTok age, this has been an exponentially growing circumstance for countless up and coming artists who may have different musical or creative ambitions, but tend to get lumped together due to their popularity or likeness to their contemporaries. But every now and then we find someone who breaks that formula in half, moving at their own pace, carefully crafting their own unique sound and not taking many questions along the way, granting the public very few glimpses at themselves. Whether it's by design or not, Yeet is that artist right now who embodies what so many strive to become. Hi, I'm John Cotter, aka Media Mayhem, and I want to talk about Yeet today. Yeet, whose real name is Noah Smith, had a pretty typical rapping come up, dropping songs and videos that progressively get better over time, getting some attention through various channels of social media and word of mouth, but particularly TikTok, which is where his career eventually would elevate to a place that no one really expected for him before this. Yeet is not a TikTok rapper, I have to start off by saying that, at least not in the sense that it is typically made for the purpose of having a viral snippet stuck within the chorus or a few of the verses. He clearly doesn't want to be boxed in with those constraints, and his music I think is proof of that, with every singular bell layering the rapper with this characteristic bravado that can't be made with profit or views in mind. But alas, his songs have gotten used on hundreds of thousands of TikToks, and the majority of them are contextually aware of the fact that Yeet is being played in the background, just giving him more and more clout points from people who seem to genuinely enjoy his music. And his most definitive tracks on the platform have definitely been Sorry About That and Money Twerk as they branched off to become meme trends of their own, but this is just exposing Yeet to millions upon millions of listeners. The illustrious bells, the screeching vocals and rumbling crooning that morph in with this hyper-intensified trap production, along with that tribal cadence which you hear on tracks like You Could Tell and Turban that really just make you want to belt the lyrics along with him. And what makes it all better is knowing that this is a hard thing to replicate because of that time and effort that he's putting into establishing himself sonically and vocally as an artist. With better auto-tune and mixing to boot, he really is delivering that erratic vibe that we know him for now and that he clearly wanted to establish early on. Like other rappers that came up with clear intent and a drive to grow as an artist like Baby Keem, Yeet's videos and visuals play a huge part in their blossoming career. Working with Mosh Pit and Dotcom Nirvan and others show that he clearly has a hand in how he wants his listeners to experience his music visually and paying attention to that consistency is so necessary in that department. And thankfully, Yeet makes each music video an anticipated moment for us to just see how many bells, green screens, and camera twirls that he can fit into just a few minutes. And there are so many signifiers that not only separate Yeet from the rest of the crowd, but continuously remind listeners who you are listening to, driving home the characteristics of both a sound and an image that I think makes his persona so alluring. And it's not only that, and like I said earlier, with the sound being incredibly hard to replicate, but it all just seems very natural for him. And, and you know, he's fueled by this clear desire to further tune his sound as close to his definition of perfection as possible. I have a feeling that he's always telling his producers to add a few more bells into the mix, and his ear for production is fundamental to his artistry, and he even has some co-producing credits on a few of his biggest songs like Get Busy. His consistent producers thus far have been Filthy, TRGC, and Flonzy, and you can really tell that they really dedicate themselves to becoming an essential part of what makes a Yeet song great. They all share similar production styles and instruments, but embrace their individuality as producers while still being able to adapt to Yeet's sound. It's a beautiful and I think really unique thing to hear, especially in an industry that's kind of been plagued by this normalcy around beats and what rappers expect of them. So Yeet's album is supposed to come out uh, by, in a week, two weeks, I have no idea, but um, I'm really excited for it. I think this is such a climactic moment for him, especially after last year. I mean, not only was his his album lauded by, by fans, but critics as well. Washington Post put it on their best albums of the year list. Um, and, you know, that's besides the point, but um, I'm really excited to hear what Yeet has in the future. Let me know what you guys think, and please subscribe for more. It really helps me out. And this has been Media Mayhem, and thank you.